Hello, Hannah. It's me, Han, and long time no see. I feel so bad because I promised you guys that I'll be uploading a video on my birthday, which was July 29, and there's just a lot of things happened that day, and I didn't have the time to upload a video. I did film, but I just wasn't happy with the result. And if you know me, I don't upload videos that I'm not happy about or that I'm not proud of because what's the point? <laughs> Now I'm refilming it today. Um, I hope it's not too late. With me, it's never too late because I always upload late when I say I'll be uploading it like, you know, earlier. <laughs> Let's do this because in my previous what's in my first video, I got a lot of heat because I had a super long intro. So without further ado, I'm just gonna jump right into the video this time. First things first, 20 year olds don't have their sh together. I am so sorry for the language but I just needed that intensity because I remember when I was a child I look at 20-somethings and think that they're so mature, they're so responsible, they have their life together, they're, they have a plan, they know what they're doing. And now that I'm 20 I don't feel like that. <laughs> and I think there are two ways to look at this. First is that it's either I'm not living up to my potential as a 20-year-old or second, 20-year-olds just is very good at faking it. I think the latter is more accurate because for me personally, I'm just going with the flow. I don't know where I'm going and I'm just always, always asking for guidance from the man above. I know this is a cliche, but always do your best whether you like what you're doing or not. Just give it your all because for me, what's the point of doing something if it's not your best? And I need to always remind this to my brain once in a while because I always forget it and I'll just, you know, settle for mediocrity. Just always do your best, guys. Always. <laughs> people need people. I actually learned this the hard way when I got into an accident when I was 17 years old. I can't do all the regular activities alone, so I had to have my mom help me to take a bath, to prepare food, and she actually stayed with us for a month and I never felt so helpless because I don't I don't like to be a burden to people, especially my family and my friends. So that's why I always feel the need to be independent and to just take care of myself. Um, when that happened, I felt so helpless. I felt so, you know, vulnerable. And I just realized that I can't really be that stupid to think that I don't need people in my life. I can survive this world without people beside me and behind me. Well, there are people who strive independently and just by being alone in life, but I I don't think I'm that type of person. I do think that I've been trying to be that person for the longest time and I just realized now that I need people and it's okay to need people sometimes. Can change your family. Okay, there was a moment where I was so frustrated with my family because I wanted them to be like this, to be more like this. I want my mom to be more like her, you know? This is the result of me watching a lot of, you know, re reality TVs and just in social media, in on YouTube, there's a lot of like ideal families, which I or at least I think are ideal families, and I want my family to be like that as well. But I come to realize that every family has its problems, has its drama, has its fair share of crazy. So just love yours and accept them for who they are. And whenever they drive you crazy and whenever you want to trade them for some other family, just remember that they are also putting up with your crazy. So think about that. I have said this in my 10 things I wish I knew before college video that you are not special. I actually like this line from a series, TV series called Younger featuring, um, what's her name? Something Foster. I forgot, but Hilary Duff is in it. Tell me, Leslie, what would you say makes you special? I'm a grown up. I don't think I'm special. I think 20 is the age where you realize that you're not special, or at least I am hoping 20 year olds don't have this mentality anymore that they're special and that whatever they do they'll be successful because they have already established or their parents already established that they're special greatness is earned so just work hard work your butt off do something i've been listening to an audiobook called ego is the enemy 
And there's this idea or a concept between doing something or being someone. And I think this is very relatable to me because I actually have this dilemma whether to pursue medicine or to continue or to make um, my YouTube channel a full-time job. I feel like it is the same concept as with that book, which is doing something, aka being a doctor, you know, having a purpose. I'm not saying that YouTubers don't have any purpose in life or that they don't feel any fulfillment doing that. But me personally, that's what I feel. So for me, doing something correlates with, um, you know, being a doctor, saving people, the medical profession. For me personally, okay, this is all based on my opinion. I feel like uh, being a doctor is more fulfilling compared to when I'll become a YouTuber, which is the being someone um, option. So being someone is being known, um, you know, having all that glory and fame. So those are the two things that are battling in my mind. Do something to be a doctor or to be someone and be a YouTuber. I am, you know, gradually coming into a consensus to a decision of being a doctor. It's not 100% still. I'm 80-20, but I'm getting there. <laughs> you're not better than anyone else. You're not better because you have a degree. You're not better because you're vegan or you're vegetarian. You're not better because you're flawless. You're not better because you're skinny. You're tall. You're not better because you speak fluent English. All these things are just skills. You're better skilled at something, but it doesn't make you a better person. Which leads us to the next lesson, which is stay humble. Because there will always be someone better than you. Number nine, your parents are not your enemy. They are genuinely concerned of you. Sometimes they act like they know what's right for you, but just know that they just want the best for you. And also take this opportunity to absorb all the lessons that they are giving you. It might not make sense now, but eventually you'll understand it and you'll even admit to yourself that, yeah, my parents were right. Okay, I learned and I realized that I'm very bad at first impressions and that's why I don't believe in first impressions. Because in order for you to like me, you need to know me in a personal level. <laughs> Please start taking care of your body. You're not a teenager forever. You won't have that, you know, slender figure forever. So please take care of your body. Sleep right, eat healthy, and exercise regularly. Okay, this is one of the most important lessons that I learned. Stop comparing yourself to others. I know it's a guess na to, pero it's true. Especially nowadays that we have a lot of influencers in social media. We just look at a celebrity's social media account and we instantly feel small because we think that these things are, you know, their everyday life. But what we don't know is these photos, these videos, these, you know, Snapchat stories are the highlight reels of people, of celebrities, and that when you compare that to your life, of course, there will be a bias and there will be, like, different factors because they're posting the best parts of their life and you're comparing it to the worst parts of yours and we don't really know the whole story. 13. You can do everything. I told you guys plenty of times in this video that I am an independent person or I, at least I like to think that I'm an independent person. And there's also this inner leader in me. So sometimes I bite off more than I can chew because I have this tendency to feel like I need to do everything. And I think as a leader, that's not a good strategy. So I learned to delegate and I'm still learning actually. Don't be defined by numbers. A number is simply that, a number. There's more to life than social media followers and grades. And Honestly, I still need to remind this to myself once in a while. Stop trying to impress people because you cannot please everyone anyway. Um, maybe this is the reason why I am very bad at first impressions because I always try to impress people. And I learned that if they don't like you, they don't like you. You can't do anything about it. So just focus on being yourself and everything will fall into place. You'll attract the right people and uh, I think that is what you want, I suppose. Be grateful. If you think or if you seem like you're having the worst day of your life, just look around you because there will be plenty of things to be grateful for in life. Okay, I realize that I am not the sun. You are not the sun. The world doesn't revolve around you, Hanako, and you should just talk less. <laughs> 17. Follow your gut. I am always this very rational person who always overthink about things and I learned that you just need to trust, trust, trust your gut sometimes, trust your heart, and you don't need this sometimes. Yeah, it's more fun that way anyway. <laughs>
kill them with kindness. We live in a world wherein there are a lot of negative things happening. So that's why I'd like to choose to be kind and, um, you know, see the best in people, give them the benefit of the doubt, and just to be kind in general because I think for the past 15 years of my life or 18 years of my life, I have been a B-I-T-C-H, a low-key B-I-T-C-H to my family, to my friends. The last lesson for today, for this video, is inspired by Gava Lanciano and it is to create to inspire. His is create to elevate but for me it's create to inspire. I've been making YouTube videos for five years now and I think along the way I forgot why I do this in the first place for the fame? Is it for the glory? I know it sounds like a Tori Kelly song. It's actually inspired by it. Is it for the fame? Is it for the glory? Like, is it to be somebody? To be an envy? And I realized, nah, that's not what I want. I actually did this or actually started making YouTube videos because first of all, I just want to share my passion for fashion. Um, second, I want to give hope and I want to make a difference. I'm not sure if I'm checking that second thing, but the third is to inspire people. So, um, yeah, that's my goal for for my YouTube channel. That is okay. That's everything, guys. I'm so sorry for the noisy background. Uh, I'm just hoping this mic will help me give you guys a better audio. If you're 20 and you want to share some of your uh, words of wisdom, please put that in the comments below because I want to hear it. If you like the video, please click the thumbs up button and if you haven't already, please subscribe. Also, just quickly, I want to plug my vlog channel because I have been uploading a lot of vlogs lately. Um, my all orientation week videos are already up, so check that out. See you guys on my next video and have a nice day. Bye, Hannah!